What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. And welcome to, I'm just going to start coining it this, let's throw shit on the wall and see what sticks. I am uh, plastering the walls in a historic 200 year old house that we are saving that had we not been here would have been in a landfill and that would have been a travesty. Instead, we're here throwing shit on the wall and seeing what sticks. So, Mike, explain to me what you were talking about with ESPN. That, they said they're trying to make the NFL, NBA, and Major League Baseball my majority owners. Oh, ESPN. Yes, which means there's more money for the NFL. Maybe, but see, what it is is, see, Disney is losing their ass right they're now. They're trying to sell it. They're trying to get out from underneath of it. So, and you see that they've been hemorrhaging personalities left and right. They have, and of course, they're trying the home run hit of Pat McAfee, figuring if we add him to the mix and change what we're doing, get fresh faces, that maybe we can save what we're doing. But here's the reality of it. What the ESPN, I, I tell you exactly what ESPN reminds me of right now. Growing up, Kmart and Sears were, were, were the, no, hold on, no, just listen to it. Okay, can, can I finish my analogy? Kmart, blue light specials, okay? Kmart was Walmart before Walmart even existed. Everybody went to Kmart, okay? Because you went to Kmart and you were looking for that blue light that was like a, a police light, and it was the blue light special. But things changed. Their business model didn't. Walmart figured out how to do it better, cheaper, and bigger. Sears. Sears used to have kit houses. In fact, my in-law's house was a Sears kit home. For $15,000, they would ship you by rail a full house that you could assemble. Craftsman Tools, lifetime warranty. They were a great company. But, again, they became a dinosaur. They died. So what happened is, Kmart, on the verge of going out of business, and Sears, on the verge of going out of business, decided, let's merge. We'll be one big company. Well, the reality is, yes, you're one big company that has nobody buying shit from you. That ship has sailed. And basically, they just did a slow death. So that, unfortunately, is ESPN. And I bring all this because thinking about Michael Urban. Here's the thing. When you think about Stephen A. Smith saying he wants uh, Shannon Sharp as well as Michael Irvin, he's thinking about saving his own ass. Because the reality is, is ESPN's model is outdated because they cover all of the sports, okay? They give you a little bit of each one of the franchises and stuff, and mostly Dallas Cowboy hate. The problem is, is now everything is catered to what you want. So you don't want, you know, if you are an Eagle fan, you want to hear all about the Eagles. Yeah, we want to you don't want to care about the Cardinals. You don't care about hockey. You don't care about baseball. Want to hear something and so, me. right. So, so that's where the model for ESPN doesn't work like it used to. Because, again, I'm not a hockey fan. I'm not a baseball fan. I'm not a basketball fan. All I want to know is about the Dallas Cowboys and things that affect them. And so when you see, without the power of ESPN or NFL Network, a guy like Pat McAfee could end up doubling what Undisputed gets in views, you start realizing, yeah, they have power. And when you see Shannon Sharp having Club Shay Shay, which is doing real well. Now, now 
<laughs> Skip Bayless's podcast, it ain't too good. I'm sorry, Skip Bayless. You know, he he does he, he's got the look for radio, but he don't have the the, the charisma <clears throat> by himself to do the podcasting. The reality is is YouTube and the way they cater to everybody, it's personal likes. There's a niche out there for exactly what you do. Be honest. I mean, look at me. I'm an old fat guy, okay? 58 years old come October. I'm here talking about the Cowboys while I'm working uh, on a historic old house. There's a group that loves just that. Wouldn't work on ESPN. Would not work. Then again, maybe it worked better on ESPN than some, than some of those idiots they, they had. But this brings me to Michael Irvin. Michael Irvin, who's got his case and stuff going on, um, I don't know if he's holding off, because here's, here's where you, you actually think about this, and it makes sense. You see him doing ads for an RV company. You see him doing autograph signings. You saw him for Super Bowl coverage with Nate Newton and um, Charles Haley in a room with about 50 people. Some of that may be we don't want to blow up and do well, because then, as far as the court case goes, they can say, well, he's still got a platform, he's still making money, and so on. So you may not see him actually working on trying to um, build his brand until after the case goes. But when it is over with, I don't see why the playmaker, with his charisma, with his namesake and everything else, if, if Shannon Sharp, skill, 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 skill. <laughs> Skill. If that guy can make it big, you're going to tell me that people won't tune into Michael Urban? I know I would. I surely know I would. In fact, Michael Urban, when you're ready to start doing a podcast, if, if you'd like to, you know, like a little help from my, my small YouTube channel, I would love, I would love to have you on. But I, but I believe that honestly, that's where it's all going to be at now. ESPN is now Kmart. <laughs> Without the blue light specials. I gotta go downstairs and get me some more plaster. Cause that's what we do. Okay. And I tell you what, see here at the Red Brick House, at the Red Brick House, you know, I love this place. We're gonna be doing our live stream Monday night here from the Red Brick House. And if you've seen me do live streams here from the Red Brick House, it's going to look totally different tonight. Oh, baby, it's going to look different tonight. So tune in, 9 o'clock Eastern. I got some work to do between now and then. Peace.